Tell me when you're ready. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. To be great, I think you have to fight. I do think I win because I outwork people. I'm a humongous believer that ideas are shit and that execution's the game. Executing the way it always is, following the school business model, is gonna lead you to a place where you're not going to win. If I knew how to teach self-awareness, I'd probably quit right now and do it because that's how I'll buy the Jets. This is the single greatest generation of fake entrepreneurs of all time. At 23, you don't know everything just yet. In the old days, we took our opinion from three old white men that owned all the media companies and told you what to think. There's a lot of things I wish I was, but but I just don't lie to myself. Lying to yourself has held back the far majority of this room from bigger upside. I was always very self-aware that I was a good salesman and I loved the action of selling stuff. I grew up in my dad's liquor store that he eventually owned in New Jersey and I grew my dad's business from a three to a $60 million business in a five-year window. We are living through the single biggest culture shift since the printing press. All the stuff that's relevant and that we talk about didn't even exist a decade ago. Innovation is happening quicker. Uber goes from idea to completely disrupting the taxi and black car industry in 36 months. In a 60 month period, I grew a business from three to $60 million in revenue on one very simple fact that 99.9% of these businesses in this room do not follow, which is I operated and more importantly, marketed in the year that I actually lived in. Your biggest advantage is that you're hungrier than your competitor. I mean, if you want this, if you want bling bling, if you want to buy the jets, if you want to do shit, work. That's how you get it. There is no reason to do shit you hate. None. Promise me you won't because you can lose just as much money being happy as hell.